actress, author, and motivational speaker Morgan Avery McCoy presents She's Got Issues, a one-woman show on Sunday, October the 4th at 4 p.m. at the Bowie Center for Performing Arts. It's a one-woman... October 8th. Did I say 4? You, October the 8th. October at, the 8th, yeah. At 4 p.m. Okay, don't, <laughs> wait, wait, don't interrupt me while I'm doing my read. My bad. <laughs> no, we, we want them to have the right date. <laughs> okay, so it's October the 8th at 4 p.m. at the Bowie Center for Performing Arts. It's a one-woman, it's one woman playing seven characters focusing on real topics like sexual assault, domestic violence, human trafficking, self-esteem, breast cancer, and more. Now, this might be a performance by one woman about many women, but it's just as an, as important to men. Tickets are available at www. She's got issues. T- ticks. Um, that's S H E S G O T. I S S U E S T I X dot eventbrite dot com. I'm honored to be the host of this very special performance. Well, not me, but Dr. Nick. <laughs> It's honored to be the the host of this very special performance, and a donation will be made to WPFW 89.3. That's She's Got Issues Sunday, October the 8th at 4 p.m. at the Bowie Center for Performing Arts, and that's 13200 Annapolis Road in Bowie, Maryland. And she is online, well, she is on air with us. Yes, we've got, we've yes. got uh, Morgan Avery McCoy Harris on the Southern Soul Hotline, as well as Pastor C in studio and Candace Joy in studio. Good afternoon to each and every one of you. How are you? We're fine. Good, to Good be afternoon. Here. Great to be here. All right. And I had to I had to check that because I I type those reads up for, for and I give them to uh, to Lady C. And sometimes I do make a mistake every now and then, especially when I'm doing it on one cup of coffee. But it, 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 the date is October the eighth. October the eighth. Okay. Yes. So let's start with, I tell you what, let's start with uh, Morgan Avery McCoy Harris. All right. Morgan, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I am fantastic. This is, um, I, you know, having read your bio, this is, you. how do you have time to do anything? You are incredibly on the road, busy, and commercials and acting, and, and, and you tell us about yourself, please. You know, it's just an honor to have an opportunity to do what you love to do all over the world and see it inspire people. I just feel so grateful, you know, as it, when little kids have dreams, you know, my kid, my dream when I was a child was to be an actress. And I'm just grateful that God opened up opportunities for me able to do what I love to do and inspire people while doing it. So it's, it's a joy. It really is a joy to meet great people and, and get a chance to share these stories that have blessed my life and see how they bless others. Now, I was reading also that, and I only know of one thing. I was looking at the things that you have done, but I do remember Black Wall Street that you started in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any Is there anything else that, that folks might say, oh, yeah, I know her. Oh, I remember that. Sure. Um, Black Wall Street is a recent project that I that I did that's actually streaming now on Amazon and also the Heart TV series. A lot of Marylanders know about the Heart because there are several uh, main actors as well that were coming from the Baltimore, Maryland area. So um, The Heart is actually also streaming across the country and the world on Amazon as well. I did some Walmart TV commercials and things like that, too. So you might have seen my face on there. Did exporting good commercials and all that good stuff. But The Heart and Black Wall Street, those are the ones that you might have seen. Fantastic. And Pastor C, now how how did you get involved with this? Well, um... First and I'm going to ask you to lean a little closer to the mic. Lean a little closer. Yeah. Okay. First of all, I'm just grateful for having the opportunity to have met uh, Morgan in person on last year. A very good friend of mine had been trying to get me to meet her for several years. And um, I was grateful because last year, I believe it was in June, Morgan, that I had the opportunity yes. to travel to Morgan uh, to Richmond to meet her. And I sat and I watched her performance, and I was simply in awe. And I began to just pray because it was heavy on my heart because of everything that's going on. And it was such mm-hmm. a phenomenal production, and she's such a phenomenal actress, that I had to bring her to the DMV because when you find something good, you want to share it with everybody. And with everything that's going on, especially in Prince George's County of late, 
I felt that this was a great opportunity to bring this production to the DMV because a lot of times people aren't going to come into the confines of the walls of a church. So how do we do? We want to give the people what they're in need of, so we're going to go to the community. So this is a Dominion Empowerment Outreach event that we're doing, and we're doing it in such a phenomenal production, but we're touching on such hot, important topics that we deal with on a day-to-day basis. And a lot of times people won't come and get the help, but we want to go to them and and give them the help that we know they stand in need of. So I'm grateful to have met her. And this is a kingdom relationship because those relationships are the ones that push you into your divine destiny. Yes. You know, you can tell, and folks, you're you're not seeing this, but I'm sitting here watching Pastor C talk. You know it's meaningful to someone when it truly comes from the heart. She did that whole thing without script, never looked down, and everything came from the heart. That was that was mm-hmm. impressive. That was awesome. Yeah. That thank you, thank you, God is good. Yes, <laughs> when you've been through something, you have something to talk about. And, and That's right. J- just, just as a little aside, Pastor C and I were talking uh, just before we started the interview. We come to find out we, like Lady C, all of us graduated from the same high school. That's right. S- Anacostia small, Indians. Anacostia <laughs> Indians. Because I'm Morgan. I'm Morgan. I'm, I'm quite a bit older than them, so it's you know we, we not, let that slide. Not, not by minute. much. Not by much. <laughs> <laughs> now, Morgan, I, I this. This is for one performance only. And I think it has, just from, from hearing you talk, from hearing Pastor C talk, from reading what it's about, are you prepared to come back and do this again? Because this is something that's going to... Absolutely. And, and I don't think that everybody that needs to see it is going to be able to get into the Bowie Performing Arts Center. Yes. It, yes. So it, this, this is one of those things that it has to come back for a return engagement. We're going we're gonna to fill up the house the first time. And, yes. and and then we've got, well, I know right now we're going to have to bring it back again. This is so, Amen. so important. And I, w- I was tell- talking to um, uh, Pastor C just before the start of the interview also, and we were talking about October being uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and that's mm-hmm. something that mm-hmm. I, am, I am very, very big on. I, I lost my mom to breast cancer. I lost my first wife to breast mm-hmm. cancer. So, I'm, oh, wow. I, you know, I, and, and, and at the age of 19, my oldest daughter, uh, they were found lumps in her breast. So I, mm-hmm. I became, I, as a man, I've had to become more aware of breast cancer than most men do. And in fact, most men don't even think about it can affect them. Yes. So right. I, I, that's, I'm very interested to hear what you have to say on that subject as well as the subject of domestic violence because this has gotten just incredibly out of control. Yeah. You know, I, too, my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, actually passed away from breast cancer. And I just left a breast cancer event here in the Richmond area where I was speaking. And so, for me, I think awareness is key. Um, The reason why I do She's Got Issues and I cover the topics that are covered is that these are issues, these are real-life issues that affect people every day. Um, And so, a lot of times, though, we get caught up on the concept of the issue and not the reality of what people are dealing with in their lives, the emotions that go along with having a sickness. Um, and so when you see me portray the character dealing with breast cancer, you're not just going to hear her talk about the pain in her body or the results of the treatment, but also how her marriage is suffering, you know, what it feels like being looked upon by your friends and not being able to articulate and share what you're dealing with. And so... Um, For me, specifically, I do a lot of events dealing with breast cancer and just really encouraging people to get your test, Um, but not only checkups and and things of that nature, but if you know someone that's going through this particular issue, what you can do to help. Because a lot of times we just kind of stare and gaze and point fingers or say, I'll pray for you, which is great. Prayer is wonderful. But what else can we do to step in? And so that's why she's got issues. It, It helps us deal with our issues, but also how can we help other people deal with their issues? How can we be more sensitive, more aware? And so um, with the breast cancer, um, the woman who's a breast cancer victim, that you kind of find out a little bit about what she's dealing with, all the emotions, the anger, the rage, the hurt, the fear, everything that goes along with that diagnosis and in her reality. Um, With the, the character that I portray that is in an abusive relationship, you know, she doesn't necessarily acknowledge that it's abusive Um, her concept is that well he loves me you know nobody's perfect so um, I'd rather be happy 80% of the time and hurt 20% of the time than be by myself and when I say that line across the country you know whether I'm at a college or at a church or 
you know, at a civic organization or at a fundraiser, when I do that, when I say the lines of the character, when, when people see this particular character, a lot of people are laughing in the beginning because, again, you know, I use a lot of humor in my show, but by the end of that character, there's people thinking, this is me. You know, nobody, people aren't trained to understand how to deal with domestic violence. And, and so my, my desire when I do my character is if anybody is, finds themselves in a, an abusive relationship, they're aware of it. Because sometimes you can find yourself in something and you don't even realize what it is. Mm. But when you see it portrayed on stage, you can kind of, it kind of is a mirror for you. I'm like, whoa, this is me, mm. you know. And so that's one of the desires. But also a desire for us to be more sensitive to people that are going through that issue. Because so often we're quick to say, hey, you need to get out of that relationship. He's crazy. She's crazy. And what happens when the, the person who is a victim hears that? They shut down. And the access that you have to them is limited. But if you're trained on how can I effectively encourage, effectively help someone come up with an escape plan, effectively, you know, be a voice of reason. If you have somebody that's a victim, they're constantly being told what they're not. And so how can we, as a friend of the victim, tell them what they are and celebrate them and encourage them and pour life into them as someone is trying to um, speak death over them? And so that's my desire, you know, with this show, with those particular characters. Um, it's very layered, and you find out when I portray the character. And I don't want to give too much because you got to come see me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, um, there's all, there are re- different types of abuse. Um, and, you know, the character, the guy she's in a relationship with witnessed abuse, which is a whole other story. So you have a, a variety of victims in that kind of situation. And so just kind of dealing with that on a dramatic level. You know, it, it's strictly by coincidence that this is the second week in a row that Lady C and I have had an interview. And the person we're interviewing is is, is involved. We Last week we interviewed Rena Scott, who's a... Uh, a longtime vocalist. She's had some hits, many hits, and she's and we play her on the show here. And she's out in uh, California, mm-hmm. but she too is a uh, advocate against domestic mm-hmm. violence, and she's mm-hmm. very actively involved. So the second week in a row to do that, and it's strictly call it coincidence, call it fate, call it the hand of God, call it whatever you want. But it is something that painfully needs to be made more aware of. And I don't mean Absolutely. I don't I don't I don't mean to bring it. To, to make it a downer, if you will, but Pastor C, I know you saw the story just Wednesday. Yes. Young lady who had taken out a restraining order against the man Wednesday night, she stabbed to death ten times while holding her baby. Mm, yes. That that's mm. this is so incredible. Yeah. It is so, and you know what? I'm, I'm Candace. I don't mean to ignore you. I did not introduce Candace Joy. You got to say hi. Don't shake your head. You got to. She said, "I'm just here for support. You help bring us all together. Without you, we wouldn't be here." So, Candace Joy is with us also. Hello, Candace. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Morgan, I, Morgan, I've got to tell you, I um, I was asked to be to be the host for the evening, and I am so so very honored to host this event on October the 8th at the uh, Bowie Performing Arts Center. And uh, I, I can't wait to meet you, to shake your hand. I can't wait to, to sit there and, and watch your performance. Oh, I can't wait to meet you either, and I'm excited. I really am. I'm honored to be coming out there. Mm. Once again, folks, uh, let me see the, uh, once, once again, folks, it's going to be Sunday, October the 8th, 4 p.m., I'm going to do the read this time. Uh, Actress, author, and motivational speaker Morgan Avery McCoy presents She's Got Issues, a one-woman show at the Bowie Performing Arts Center. One woman playing seven characters focusing on real topics like sexual assault, domestic violence, human trafficking, self-esteem, breast cancer, and more. This might be a performance by one woman about many women, but it is just as important to men. Tickets are available at www.she'sgotissuestix.eventbrite.com. Cannot wait to meet you, uh, Morgan, once again, and I want to thank you for taking time out of your Saturday. Pastor C, Candace, thank you all so much. I'm going to close the interview by playing a song. A good friend of mine, Alicia Glover, will be performing this song at the event. And I said, Alicia, you know I'm going to play it. She said, thank you, Dr. Nick. (laughs) She didn't quite say it like that. She more or less said, well, it's about time. (laughs) 
I, real quick, real quick before but, we yeah, but take what, but, um, no, don't don't do it quickly. Whatever time you need, take we, it. We um we actually just left uh, Candace Joy and myself as well as my husband Bishop Blake. Um, and some other of the men from our church. We just left the Momentum Conference that's hosted by PG County that is basically elevating men's um, view on domestic violence, and it was over at the Marriott and College Park. And Sister Jacqueline Roan, who is currently the Associate Director in the Department of Family Services um, in the newly created Domestic Violence and Human Trafficking Unit, will be with us on Sunday, October the 8th as well, because she's going to bring information and resources that the county has available. We want to help folk. It's more than just a, a good time out for a show, but we want to make sure we give the information that's needed that people can move beyond where they are and get the help that they need because it's time for us to break the silence. And those of us, amen, that know how to get the resources to do that, it's time that we stand up as a community and help prevent domestic violence and human trafficking. No doubt. No doubt about it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, folks. Thank you so much again. Sunday, October 8th, 4 p.m., Bowie Performing Arts Center. You don't want to miss. She's got issues.